Hello, this is Shay Jackson with Hype Math and Reading. In today's video, we will be reviewing for the 2022 Texas Star Reading Test for third graders. Our concept is context clues. This is part two. Remember third graders, dream big. Your attitude, not your aptitude, will determine your altitude. Do you need a math or reading tutor? We offer virtual one-on-one -on -one or group tutoring for second to eighth grade students. There is a link in the description box where parents can sign up to receive a free 30-minute consultation. We offer our Star third grade math review and reading review workbooks. The reading review workbook will be released on January 28th, but you can pre-order your workbook today both links will be in the description box so that you can grab yours today. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell so that you will be alerted when we upload new videos. Let's do another review on context clues. They are clues that help readers determine the meaning of an unknown or new words within a story, passage, or text. Some ways to find the meaning of unknown words are the following. Look at the pictures if there are any. Look for words you know or helping words. Also, read around the word. Finally, you can break the word into parts. Let's talk about types of context clues. The first one we will discuss is definition. The word is defined in the sentence or a sentence nearby. In our example, we have the volunteer firefighters work to keep us safe, but they do not get paid. So based on the context clues for volunteer, the word means people who work but do not get paid for it. Next context clue we're going to discuss are synonyms. The, they are other words that have similar meanings and are used in the sentence. In our sample sentence, we have, Zeke knew that the figurine was fragile when he felt all of the light and delicate pieces in his hand. So based on the context clues for fragile, we know that it is something that can be easily broken or damaged. How do we know that? Because it says, when he felt all of the light and delicate pieces in his hand. Our next context clues we will discuss is anonyms. These are other words that have opposite meanings and are used in the sentence. In our sample sentence, we have Malik detests eating rotten, raw tomatoes, not rotten. <laughs> Malik detests eating raw tomatoes, but he really likes eating ketchup. Isn't that weird? Based on the context clues for detests, it means hate or thinks something is disgusting. The anonym really likes is the opposite. So in our in our sentence, we see that Malik detests eating raw tomatoes. The word but shows us that although he does, but he really likes so that when it says he really likes eating ketchup, that means that it's the opposite of when he eats raw tomatoes. Our next type of context clues is inference. The word's definition is not explained. You must look for clues before and after the sentence. In our example, we have, you do not want to work with Crystal unless you want to hear her talk about herself all the time. She is so arrogant. So you may not know what the word arrogant means. However, you can look at the sentences before it we know that we're talking about Crystal and that she talks about herself all the time. So based on that, we can determine that arrogant means someone who brags about themselves and think they are more important than other people. Our next 
type of context clues is word parts. There's a clue in part of the unknown word. And remember, we can break up the word parts because we can see if it has a prefix or a suffix that can help us determine the meaning of the word. In our sample sentence, we have, I think you are overreacting. So in overreacting, we can really separate the word. We have over for our prefix and reacting is our base word. So it is someone who reacts to something more than what they should because it's over reacting to something. That means they are over the top. Our next context clue is example. This is an example of the word is in the sentence or nearby sentences. In our example, we have, I really like the decor, including the fancy lights, beautiful paintings, and lovely furniture made the house look stunning. So based on our context clues, we can determine that decor is or it means the decorations and furniture in a house. And there's something that I wanna point out to you because you see it says, I really like the decor, comma, including. So including means these are the things that are part of the decor, okay? That's like a trigger or remember we talked about helping words, including is a helping word to, to help us in understanding what decor means or what it includes, which is the decorations and the furniture in a house. The next context clue we wanna talk about is schema. This means background knowledge the reader may have. In our example, we have a device such as a cell phone or tablet can be expensive. So based on our knowledge of cell phones and tablets, we know that a device can be something that is um, some type of electronic equipment. Okay, so that was background knowledge that you could use to understand what a device is. Now let's dive into an excerpt so that we can apply this knowledge to a reading passage. This excerpt is from Leading the Pack. In 2007, Millen moved the Dog Psychology Center to the mountains. The new location is so big that Millen was able to expand the size of the center. The center now has room for Millen to swim and hike with the dogs. More than 50 dogs can stay at the center at one time. Millen also travels to other cities to teach dog owners about dogs and about being a pack leader. Dog owners who can't go to see Millen in person can learn about his training methods in his magazine, DVDs, and books. Although he isn't training animals for movies the way he dreamed of doing as a child, it's easy to see that Millen enjoys what he does. His ability to train dogs and their owners proves that he is the leader of the pack. Which words from the paragraph help the reader understand the meaning of expand? Is it F, to the mountains, G, new, lo new location, H, swim and hike, J, is so big. And this excerpt is in our reading workbook. Again, you can pre-order your copy today. The link will be in the description box. The answer is, is so big. So let's look at our sentence again. And if you notice that expand is bolded and underlined so that we know that this is the word we're trying to define. Let's read that sentence one more time or end the sentence before and after it. In 2007, Millen moved the Dog Psychology Center to the mountains. The new location is so big that Millen was able to expand the size of the center. The center now has room for Millen to swim and hike with the dogs. So the definition of expand is in the sentence. So the new location is so big, that helps us understand the meaning of expand. Because it's so big, there are other things that Millen is able to do because of the size of the new location. Let's look at another excerpt from Leading the Pack. 
As a young boy growing up in Mexico, Millen spent a lot of time at his grandfather's ranch. He loved watching the pack or group of wild dogs that roamed there. In fact, Millen spent so much time watching the dogs that he was given the nickname El Perro. This means dog boy in Spanish. Millen also watched dogs in television shows and movies. His favorite show was about a dog named Lassie. As a teenager, Millen dreamed of going to Hollywood to train animals for the movies. In the paragraph, the word roamed means A, learned, B, worked, C, wandered, D, hid. Now, in order for us to find out what the word roamed mean in the paragraph, there are a couple of ways that you can do it. You can, again, look around the sentences to see if there's anything that could help us discover what the word means, or just you can replace that word to see with the answer choices to see if it makes sense. So let's look at A. He loved watching the pack or group of dog group of wild dogs that learned there. Well, no, learn doesn't seem to be the correct word. So now we can move to B. He loved watching the pack or group of wild dogs that worked there. Well, dogs don't work, so obviously that is not the correct answer choice. He loved watching the pack or group of wild dogs that wandered there. Wandered seemed to be a, a good choice. Let's look at D, but I think it's C. Let's just see though. And lastly, we have D. He loved watching the pack or group of wild dogs that hid there. Well, hid doesn't seem to be the correct answer either. So we are going to stick with C, wandered. As a young boy growing up in Mexico, Millen spent a lot of time at his grandfather's ranch. He loved watching the pack or group of wild dogs that roamed there. And if you think about it, when you think about a pack of dogs or when you see dogs, if you see they're roaming, wandering means, you know, they're just going around, moving from one place to another. That sounds correct for what our answer choice is. Let's look at one more example. Our next example is an excerpt from Building with Lego Sets. Although Christensen's original Lego bricks all had the same basic rectangular shape, there now are 2,400 different shaped Lego bricks made in a variety of colors. Wow. Lego creates building sets for children of all ages. Lego blocks for preschoolers are larger and easier for toddlers to handle. The company also offers sets for older children and teens. These sets contain intricate parts that are more detailed and challenging to put together. With such a variety of products available, it is understandable that children of all ages enjoy playing with Lego toys. So our question is, which of the following words help the reader understand the meaning of intricate? And our hint is, Lego blocks for preschoolers are larger and easier for toddlers to handle. The company also offers sets for older children and teens. These sets contain intricate parts that are more detailed and challenging to put together. So based on that hint is our answer choice, the correct answer choice F, detailed and challenging, G, larger and easier, H, is understandable, or J, different shaped. And again, the meaning of it is within the sentence, okay? Let's look at it again. And sometimes the answer choice is not gonna be in the sentence like it is for this one. Sometimes, remember, we have to look at the sentence that's before it and after it to determine what the meaning of the word could be. 
Lego blocks for preschoolers are larger and easier to handle. The company also offers sets for older children and teens. These sets contain intricate parts that are more detailed and challenging to put together. So obviously, F, <laughs> detail and challenging, is the correct answer because it is defined within our sentence. And that is it for part two of our context clues review. Remember, if you need a math or reading tutor, there is a link for parents to click on in the description box so they can receive a free 30 minute consultation. We also have our third grade math review workbook and our third grade reading review workbook as well that is available available for purchase in our store. This is Shay Jackson with Hype Math and Reading. I will talk to you later.